Hi everybody, I'm here today to talk to you about connecting your laptop, your Windows laptop, to your Epson Brightlink projector uh, that's in your classroom. So as you see here, I have my projector, it's been turned on, you see a blue screen, you see over here on my side, I've got a computer that I want to connect to the uh, projector. To do that, I essentially only need one cord, and that is in your mystery box. The one cord is this HDMI cable. It's got two HDMI sides. This is one HDMI side, and this is the other. One end is going to go into the computer. The other end is going to go into the wall. So I'm going to take one end, I'm going to put it in the computer here. And then I'm going to take the other one, and I'm going to plug it into the wall. And your wall, I'm going to bring you a little closer. In your wall, you've got two HDMI ports. You've got HDMI 1, HDMI 2, and then you also have this little USB port down here in the bottom. We're going to talk about that in just a second. But just to project my computer to the screen, I'm going to plug the other end of the HDMI cord into the wall. When I do that, you're going to see this display change up on the projector. Let's take a look at that. Okay. So now up on the screen, it's a little bit difficult to see with the lighting, um, but you see that you have, um, I see my desktop, my desktop is displayed up on the projector here. Now when I have that done, with this board, because it's an interactive touch panel, I can take one of my markers and I can mark up my screen. So if I pull up a website or something like that, I can take my marker, I can select a color, and I can draw things on the board, and point to things, change the color, and do all sorts of fun stuff with this marker, okay? So that will uh, allow me to do that. What I cannot do with this is I can't touch anything, open up any of the icons. It's just not gonna mark up the board. That's not what I want. What I wanna be able to do is I wanna be able to double tap on Google Chrome here and open it up. So in order to do that, you need another cable. The other cable that you need is also in your mystery box. It's this white USB cable. It's got a funny looking end over here like this, and it's got the regular USB end here over here like this. The funny looking end is gonna go on the wall. The regular end is gonna go into the computer. And that's where I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do over here, down at the bottom. Plug that right into the wall. Plug this into the computer here. Now when I've done that, I'm going to take that marker that I was using, and down in the lower right hand corner, it says PC Interactivity. Before, that was off. Now it's automatically turned on because I plugged the USB in. I can go back and turn that off if I want to, and now it's just an annotation mode so I can just mark up the screen. But if I want to do PC Interactivity to be able to open apps and stuff, I want to make sure that's on. Then I can double tap on things, open up browsers, navigate, the web, uh, and whatnot. Currently, I'm making this video, it is September 1st, 2021. Currently, in Northridge Elementary School, we have to use the markers to be able to touch the board and interact with things on the board. When we have another, uh, uh, there's gonna, uh, another device is gonna be installed up here that's gonna allow you to touch the screen with your fingers, um, which is gonna make things a lot easier. That's gonna be happening over the course of the next several weeks. Uh, but this general process is what you need to do to hardwire your laptop to the board to project it and then also to interact with it. Like I said before, for now you have to use your marker, but uh, in the future you will be able to just use your fingers. Uh, and I think that's it. I hope that was helpful. If you need any more assistance, please submit a help desk ticket or reach out to us. We're happy to help at any time. Thanks so much. Have a great day.